I recently paid off my credit card debt for $3,457 within three months time. I believe anybody can do, achieve this free from worry too, even if you're working a regular job. It is a small win that propels us forward to financial freedom and away from credit card debt, which for some could be life changing. In this video, we'll go over five steps on how to tackle credit card debt once and for all. Here's how I did it. So make sure you watch this video to the end to see if you can use these five steps to help get out of $3,457 of credit card debt. I currently work as a nurse anesthesia provider. It was difficult to obtain the degree and during that time when I was in school for graduate school I was unable to pay for my mortgage which led me to default my loan and sell the house at a short sale and during that time there's a 2008 housing crisis y'all remember that and because of the foreclosure on my home I had to wipe out my credit cards by filing bankruptcy a chapter 7 bankruptcy which has affected me to this day with high interest rate in credit cards but unfortunately during my advanced degree practice I went further into credit card debt I was using credit cards student loans to pay for everyday expenses during my training for my nurse and anesthesiology degree as life would have it I had to take the state boards twice past my advanced degree certification exam but now I'm able to work on my own time and then pick up as many hours as I want so if your job allows you to if you're able to pick up an extra shift on a holiday, a weekend, a night shift, I would do that as long as you're healthy and able to withstand the long hours of work. Number two, pick up an extra side hustle. In this day and age of Uber Eats, Uber drivers, and Amazon Flex drivers, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to pick up an extra side hustle of some sort, just to earn some extra income so we can pay down our debt faster. Even on this platform, I've discussed personal finance, cost savings, and building a business online through entrepreneurship. I think building a business, selling stuff on Etsy, developing a website through Hostinger. So we should embrace e-commerce and building businesses online, like developing a digital planner that somebody can download using Kiddo, using ChatGPT, and using Genie to develop ways we can sell our product online digitally without having a physical product. If you haven't already download the digital budget tracker below, it's free. I'm not charging anybody for it. I'm not collecting any emails. I should be collecting emails, but I'm not at this point. So go ahead, download that, and use that to your liking, and tell me what you think. Essentially, Amazon Flex drivers and Uber drivers can earn anywhere from $42,000 to $100,000 extra as a side hustle. Other things to consider is rent out your car. But real estate is to Airbnb, Toro is to automobiles. So you're able to rent out your car that's sitting in your driveway that's not collecting money on the weekends. You can rent out your nice car. It doesn't have to be a nice car. It could be a truck that you're not using that somebody can borrow and use. So Toro allows you to rent out to private parties. Pretty strict. It looks at uh, driving records, credit history, and deposits. That way your car is protected. And of course, I don't know the legalities. Make sure your insurance company covers it that if you're using it for that purpose. Folks are making up to $3,805 a year just renting out their car. According to Bankrate, only 30% of Americans have an emergency fund. Dave Ramsey and George Kimmel, his disciple, they preach having $1,000 as an emergency fund. So $1,000, about $83.33 a month. We pay more than that for cell phones, Netflix, you add them up, so I think it's quite doable. I wanna digress a little bit. When I say emergency funds, I don't mean the world's collapsing, your house burned down. Emergency funds are things that come a long way. An extra medical bill, or your car broke down, it's gonna cost you $1,000 to have it fixed at the uh, dealership. But if you watch this channel, we can fix stuff ourselves with cost savings that way. Having that emergency fund, it kind of affords you that worry-free time frame. So how can we achieve that? So you just go on your banking account, and go to your checking and just transfer $83.33 per month into your savings account. And the way you can do it, if you get paid every week, you can transfer $20.83 into your account every single week. So $20 a week times four weeks in a month, $83.33, quite doable. Number four is transfer to a 0% credit card. 49% or half of Americans have credit card debt according to bank rate. This is one of the hacks that companies don't tell you. You may want to start off by asking your credit card provider first, can you lower my interest rate? Or can you give me a promotional where the balance is 0% for 12 months. It's usually from 12 to 24 months, they offer that. But uh, be aware that they do go back up to 24, uh, I've seen 30% um, annual percentage rate, so APR. So they can do that, you can pay off your debt within that time frame, but 12 months, 24 months, and you can pretty much gold it. Now you have to do the math. If I pay a transfer fee of whatever, I think it's 3% up to 5% for a transfer fee. Does it make sense to pay the $150? That way you're paying lower lower to 0% interest rate versus own $1,000 or more. I would do is go at 0%, 12 months, pay that off, or the 24 months, that way you can get our credit card debt fast. And always set up to automatic. That way you're not missing a payment because if you miss a payment on a 0% transfer, to another credit card holder. By default, they have the right to increase your interest rate back to 24, 30%. So the 0% is 
the caveat is you have to make payments on time every single month. So what I would do is send an automatic payment to that credit card company to a minimum payment. So let's say it's $30 per month. And that way you just keep paying extra on top of that and get that credit card debt out as fast as possible. The last is mind shift. I think it should be the first. You have to think financial freedom is definitely attainable. If you read the book, The Psychology of Money, of Money by Morgan House, he talks about 8% of money problems is psycho psychological. The rest is materialistic. We have to be able to weather the storm and figure out what's going to be best for us, not so best for our friends, our neighbors within our immediate circle. So what's working for you in your financial future and what your future looks like. We see what Tom Bill you Impact Theory interviewed the Wall Street Trapper. He talked about we work so hard, we spend hours at the job. To escape this work environment of this hamster wheel, we feel like we have to spend some money on ourselves, how we talk ourselves into thinking that we deserve this, we deserve a vacation, we deserve nice clothes. But that's not how you should be thinking. Once we figure out that our main objective is to be financially free, but not buy materialistic things or even go on vacation, just to feel good in the moment, because that's how it is, just in the moment in the long run, it's gonna hurt you financially. So be disciplined enough to say no and don't fall for the trap. See what I did there, Wall Street trap. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. We talked about being financially free from a credit card debt. If this video has brought you value, go ahead and hit subscribe to the channel. I read every single comment and try to respond as much as I can. If you like these type of videos where I talk about personal finance, cost savings, and building a business online through entrepreneurship, then subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you watching these videos. You're watching these videos because you believe financial independence is possible. If you like these type of videos, check out this next video on how I plan to save 100K by the end of 2024. I'll see you next week. Final payment, I'm gonna log in to my account, make a payment, and there it is, bam, $300 paid off. Uh, I had a balance of almost close to 4,000, done. So I just wanna share that with you. It's the greatest feeling. I hope you enjoyed something like this to get the feeling of paying debt off like this.